Shalawan Makim, his brother Kamal Mahar here. Back at it again. First things first, we'll give all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rikakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the true front from GMS. Blessing to the Aki Madera preaching his word with whole our true sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000 and one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, House of David, the Biyaf Dawada. And Shalawan, two brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking different nations. Shalawan, brothers. So um, today, man, I wanted to, you know, I'm on a new channel. Um, shoot, um, prophesying to the wind on this one. Uh, but uh, hey, you know, Lord willing, this goes to the gates of the nobles, and also, hey, the Lord said that His word would not go out void. So, um, you know, the Lord wants to wants us to go somewhere it will. Um, uh, so, what I wanted to get into, brothers, I wanted to get into a deliverance, man. You know, um, you know, pretty soon, you know, Lord, Lord, Lord willing, I could be a part of that number. You know, uh, pretty soon these prophecies are going to really ramp up with the chip and the, on the Jacob's trouble, and um, and also do World War Three along with the destruction of Babylon, where Yahweh Shah going to crack the skies and deliver his elect, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians, and that's a time frame that we're hastening, uh, hastening for Yahweh Shah to come back, man, because you know we want to get up out of this place. You know, the scriptures talk about this is not our rest because it'll give us a, it's a, it's polluted and it'll give, it'll make you a sword, a sword destruction, you know? So, you know, we need to get up out of here and we need Yahweh Shah to do it, man. And so we, you know, right now we got a mission. Uh, we, you know, we going, we going to put these videos up and be on the highways and hedges and, um, just keep on continuing the ministry until, you know, the Lord pulls, pulls us out the ministry as far as like Amos 8 and 11, where it says the family of the word. So, you know, um, but, the, but. In that day, man, we looking forward to them, to the Yahweh Shah cracking them skies, man, and delivering his people, man. Because, you know, once we see him, you know, all the tribes of the of the earth is going to mourn. You know, we're going to be rejoicing, man. Lord willing, we get beamed up that day, too. But, hey, you know, the hell with uh, Esau and his rulership. You know, that's what, that's what, that's literally what we're going after. We're looking forward to. But being saved, man, you know, getting beamed up will be, you know, that's the ultimate mercy and the ultimate, um, you know, uh, go for what we going for You know, they get beamed up, man That's salvation And salvation is the most important right now um, or, ha or always have been You know, that's why brothers Prophets of old, you know, been prophesying And, um, you know, all the prophets That have been chosen are, are here today And doing the same thing Until uh, we get up out of here Because this, this is our last captivity And this is a beautiful thing to be in, in The beautiful, beautiful times of being uh, Let me bring out Um um, let me see. Uh, you know what? Zephaniah two and uh, three. It says, "Seek ye Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, all you meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be you. It, be, it it may be you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger." Right. See, that's what I'm saying. So we seek in the ministry because we're trying to um. You know, uh, get you know, be head in the day of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's wrath. You see, because remember in, in, in Revelations 22, uh, I'll just bring that out. It talks about how Yahweh Shah will come quickly and his reward is with him. You know, um, 22 and uh, it says 22 and 12, it says, And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Right, so the wicked will be destroyed, and our two thirds of our people will be destroyed on on the, on this side by them ICBM missiles or chariots or famine or Jacob's trouble. You know they're gonna be destroyed on this side, but the elect of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Indians, are going to get delivered. You know, um, you know, out of this place, uh, out of the uh, place, you know, uh, spiritual Egypt, which is Babylon, you know, America. So you know that's the reward we're looking for. Is again being up to get hit in the day of in the day of judgment because the Lord is going to have a crazy destruction going on in this place and it's not going it's going to be a day like never seen in the history of mankind, you know. So, hey, you want to be you know you want to be found blameless and you want to be found you know upright in order to in order to be hid in, in that day, you know. So you know and that's why we we in this ministry man because we fear the Lord and we're going to do what the Lord tells us to do, you know. We're going to. Law, sexual commandments, we're going to try our best and repent when we need to and keep it moving, you know, so that way we can receive that reward on the right hand side, man, which is salvation, man. Um, 
Let me go to uh, Matthew 24, actually 30 and 31 to actually what it what it looks, well, not what it looks like, but, you know, where it talks about it. And to get proof. It says Matthew 12, 24 and, uh, and 30. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Right. And it says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Right. That's exactly what you know what we're hoping for, man. That when when Yahweh Shah comes back and, and deliver and deliver um, you know, his people, that you know, we could be a part of, you know, Lord willing, I'm I'm a part of that number and all these brother all the brothers that's that's sincere in this thing. You know, to um to pretty much um, you know, be a part of that 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 certain that's that that event. Which is this? Which is salvation? When the, when the, when Yahweh Shah sends those angels, Lord willing, you could be Lord willing. The angel comes and over top of you and beam you up. That's what you're going for. That's why that's why you want to stay in this, in this ministry and keep on going in this thing and endure. Because remember, in 24 and uh, 13, it says, "But he, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved." Right? You got to endure. You know, keep the keep the keep the word of the of Yahweh Shah's patience, man. That's literally what's the, um, you know, how you're going to be able to do that. So, you know, it, 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 this thing is, is this thing is, is in the door. It's a marathon and we got to keep on, um, keep on going, man, because, you know, we endure all these things for the elect's sake. I brought that on my last video, you know, second Timothy two and 10, you know, and we doing this for the elect. We trying to get the elect sealed. So that way, you know, when all this calamity start happening, you could be here. Like it says in Zephaniah two. You know, two and three, actually. And that's what you want to do, man. You know, just, man, listen, man, look. The day of the Lord is going to be so crazy. Lord willing, you could be in a chariot to see to see the fall of your enemies, man. That's what you want. You want to be in that chariot to see the fall of your enemy, man. That's a beautiful thing. Lord willing, I could be a part of that number, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, right now, matter of fact, in Isaiah, in Isaiah the 20, uh, Isaiah 26 and 20, it says, it says, come my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the ignition be overpassed, right? And that's the same time frame uh, when I just brought out Matthew 24 and 31, where the Lord was sending his angels together as elect from the four winds of the earth. That's the same time frame. It's the same exact situation as the precept to it. And basically, you know, you know, like it says in Zephaniah, uh, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3 where it says to be hid from that day of the Lord that judgment and it's the same thing because the indignation of the Lord is righteous anger you know we got we got to be in be beamed up in chariots because if we not beamed up in them chariots we're going to be caught in that caught in that fire man and that's not what you want you want to be a first fruit of the kingdom of heaven you don't want to be born well well yeah you know what no you don't want to be born into the kingdom you want to be transit transitioned first fruit that's what you want you know Lord will not be a part of that number but at the end of the day though you know we got to keep Keep the eyes on the prize, man. Go on the highways and hedges. Feed the sheep. Keep it going. You know, the servants of the servants of the prophets, man. And so we hoping for we hoping that you know we can be in that be part of that number to get beamed up, man. This is a beautiful thing. You know, and, and that's just part of that, that's exactly what we're going after. You know? Like uh matter of fact, Revelation 18 goes into the same thing. Getting beamed up, man, is the ultimate, ultimate. Goal, you know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate goal because that that, that claims mercy of the, from the heavenly Father towards you, and you're gonna be delivered, transitioned to those new bodies, and then ushered into the kingdom. Oh man, what a beautiful situation! It says, uh, eighteen and um, eighteen and uh, and four, and it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues." Right. For the sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High remember her iniquities. Right. So you want to be come out of her, my people, is the exact same thing as getting beamed up. So that way, you, when you get beamed up, you can be hid from that judgment. And that's what you want to do, man. Your salvation, man. Salvation, salvation, salvation. Matter of fact, um, Romans 13 and 11. It says... Uh, it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. When we believe, right? So this, so salvation is right around the corner. 
especially especially now that these prophecies have, have been screaming like this, you know, now now they're they're on the scene. So now the prophecies are here. Now we're in the time frame of near will we believe. And shoot, Lord will initiate, man. But then the day though, we gotta wait on Yahweh Shah. And we got and now is this is the time to really get on your job, man. You know, go go to camp with the brothers. You know, um, you know, more videos going up. You know, brothers understand what's with the time frame we in. So, you know, this is what we trying to do. We're trying to, you know, step our game up. Um, so that way we can um, you know, get out of this place, man. Cause salvation is what we're going for. And um, so, and hey, you don't wanna be you know, caught up in that in that in that calamity, man. That calamity is very shoot. I don't even know what it is. But when the Lord says it's gonna be like a day never seen before, just know is just know is whatever you describe as bad, you're not gonna do yourself any justice. You're just gonna play yourself trying to trying to figure it out. So um, you know, that's just one of those things, man. You know, um, shoot. I was going. I was trying to make this this video short and sweet and edifying. Um, I could, I actually got, I could bring out a couple more precepts. Um, let me bring out, uh, first Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. Um, yeah, let me go bring that out. Um, and you know what? Aha. I got, um, let me go to, uh, first Thessalonians, um, four and roughly at the bottom. It says, uh, you know, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start four in, um, Thirteen, it says, but I would I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. They, I mean, uh, that that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahweh died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh will the Most High bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For for Yahweh Shah himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first. Right. This is this is the salvation uh, 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 time frame. This is that. This is salvation right here. And it says, and it says, so, so all the brothers who died in his in his ministry, you know, and uh, who 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 did the work, they, you know, they're gonna they're gonna get they're gonna rise first. And it says, and then we, then we. Which are alive and remain shall be shall shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, those, those chariots, um, to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And then, so so being being delivered in this moment is a beautiful thing, man. We're gonna be with we're gonna be we're gonna be with Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And so we're gonna be beamed up in them chariots. And then after we beamed up, all the destruction start going down. And you know, shoot, you a blessed person to be up in the chariots to avoid that that calamity, man. You know, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. And I'm gonna end this off with um, uh, Jeremiah sixteen fourteen. I, I really like this uh, precept. It says, uh, "Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, that it shall no more be said that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt." But Yahweh Bashim Yahushah liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that, that I gave unto their fathers. Right. You see that? So it's going to be like, how you know the Lord lived? Because because of that great salvation um, that's going to happen, you know, um, with, to the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians. And that particular... Um, Time frame is going to be so amazing that it's going to trump the, uh, the what, how uh, the Moses Moses and Aaron and the Israelites in Egypt. So you know, call law Yahweh Bashim Yahushua for that man, because the Lord going to show out, man. The Lord going to show out big time. So you know, Lord willing, this is edifying to you, brothers. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua Bashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh, He is the Be exists Bashim in the name and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, the Deliverer Yahweh Shah Bashim in the name and the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders on the truth from GMS. Blessing to the Aki Madeira preaching his word. We'll hold our true sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000 and one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven. The house of David. The Yaf Dawada. And Shalom to you brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom brothers.